Welcome to the Pregnancy and Childbirth Affirmations from the Bible. Affirmations for the safe and pain-free birth of a child. These verses from the Bible are specific to those who want a safe and pain-free birthing experience. Is it possible to have an easy, pain-free childbirth? That means without drugs or epidural. Many of us would think this is a ridiculous notion, and I myself have never heard of such a thing. But after reading about so many women's experiences with having an easy and pain-free childbirth, and my own sister's easy, pain-free labor of all four of her children, I believe it is possible. It is written in Mark chapter 9, verse 23, all things are possible to those who believe. And Jesus said in Mark chapter 11, verse 24, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have already received it and it will be yours. The secret to asking God for anything is to believe you already have it. I want you to try a little ex exercise. Pray and ask God for what you want. I'll give you a few moments to say a prayer. Now visualize yourself already receiving the answer to your prayer. What would it look like to already have what you've asked for? How would you feel? What will you say to your loved ones and to God about receiving the answer to your prayers? Visualize yourself receiving it. Feel the emotions and sit in those happy thoughts as you imagine yourself receiving what you've asked for in prayer. When you listen to these affirmations, keep that vision in the front of your mind and feel the wonderful feelings cursing through your body as you meditate on these affirmations. I also recommend journaling these verses and writing down what it means for you and the thoughts and emotions it brings up for you. Journaling is a powerful way to receive, to release mental blockages that may be blocking your faith and combined with the Bible verses in this video will help you increase your faith. Don't forget we have a mighty God. Whatever your concerns, however big, nothing is impossible to Him. If you would like to read more about supernatural pregnancies and childbirth, I recommend this amazing book called Supernatural Childbirth by Jackie Mize, published by Harrison House. It is an excellent book full of encouragement and Bible verses that show that you can have a supernatural pregnancy and birth with no pain. Yes, it's true, no pain labor. Part of the prayer in this video was taken from this book. I hope this will strengthen your faith and I'm sure you can find your own or have your own Bible verses to lean on during this time. Keep thinking positively as the words we think and speak to ourselves and to our bodies have impact. I pray for a successful pregnancy and birth for you. I believe that God will give me effortless childbirth, just like he gave the Hebrew women in the time of Moses. As it is written in Exodus 1 verse 19, the midwives answered Pharaoh, Hebrew women are not like Egyptian women. They are vigorous and give birth before the midwives arrive. I will not be afraid of giving birth, nor be afraid of complications attached to giving birth, as God will be with me and will give my body the strength to bring this baby safely and effortlessly into the world. As it is written in Joshua 1 verse 9, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I believe that God will bring my baby safely out of my womb, for he is with me and my baby. As it is written in Psalm 22 verses 9 to 10, Yet you brought me out of the womb, you made me trust in you, even at my mother's breast. From birth I was cast on you, 
From my mother's womb, you have been my God. My God is with me in this birthing process. I will not be afraid. He will deliver my baby safely and effortlessly out of my womb. As it is written in Psalm 71, verse 6, By you I have been upheld from birth. You are he who took me out of my mother's womb. My praise shall be continually of you. I will not be afraid. This baby will be born healthy and will be blessed by God. My God will make my baby mighty in this land. As it is written in Psalm 112, verse 2, Their children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. I know God is with me and will help me give birth to my baby. As it is written in Isaiah 41, verse 13, For I, the Lord your God, will hold your right hand, saying to you, Fear not, I will help you. I know that God will give me a successful birth, free from trouble, sorrow, and pain. As it is written in Isaiah 66, verse 9, Do I bring to the moment of birth and not give delivery, says the Lord. Do I close up the womb when I bring to delivery, says your God. I believe my God will save me from having a difficult childbirth. As it is written in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, Nevertheless, she will be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith, love and holiness with self-control. I will not be anxious as the day of birth nears. I will give my fears to God, as it is written in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for this child you have given me. Just like Hannah, I can say, for this child I have prayed, and the Lord has given me what I asked of him. Thank you, Father, for a wonderful pregnancy. Thank you that I am in control over my body and your word has dominion over me. I will not be subject to my emotions, but they are subject to your word. You said in your word that you will bless my bread and my water and take away sickness from my midst. My baby will not suffer any complications in my womb or during its birth. Lord, I pray for a pain-free labor. I believe that you have freed me from the curse of painful childbirth. I am your child, and your word says that Jesus became a curse in my place so that I don't have to suffer the curse of painful childbirth. Father, I speak over my body, to my muscles, my womb, and my reproductive organs, for every system to function properly and perfectly as you intended them to from the very beginning. I declare perfect health and wholeness over my body. I speak to my baby that he or she will be safely and easily delivered through the birth canal without any complications or distress. I pray for the medical professionals who are involved. I pray that you will give them wisdom concerning our baby and my body. May you open the eyes of their understanding and lead and guide them in how to care for me and my baby. Just like the Hebrew women in the time of Moses, I declare health and vigor over my body that it will deliver my baby with ease and without pain. Thank you, Father, for this wonderful pregnancy. Thank you for fulfilling your promise to me in your word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.